Well, a little bit of outer space came right into Boise today. It did. Captain Steve Swanson, who commanded a mission on the International Space Station, came to Boise State tonight to talk about his experience. Fox 9's Jake Melder is live in Boise State with that story. Jake? Well, things are beginning to wind down here at Boise State, but just a few minutes ago, it was standing room only here in the Simplot Ballroom at Boise State. The reason? Because Steve Swanson, astronaut for six months in space, came here to visit. Tonight, he talked about his research as well as the future of space exploration. Just two months after finishing his mission on the International Space Station, Steve Swanson addressed a full crowd at Boise State. Young and old, all were fascinated to hear from a man on a short list of space explorers. We had a good time, did a lot of science, maintained the station, but I'm glad to be back home with my family. As commander of Expedition 40 on the ISS, Swanson continued research on plant growth, astrophysics, and human anatomy. Like we're looking at bone loss. People on Earth you know, down here have bone loss too, so we got to get it much more quickly up there. So we look at different ways to stop that. And his favorite part about orbiting above Earth? Well, just floating in space is probably the best thing. It's like, uh, it's like being this kid and you find the best playground in the world and you get to live in it. Swanson said his inspiration to become an astronaut came from watching sci-fi movies. He hopes current movies like Gravity and Interstellar Maybe we've spent too long trying to figure all this out with theory. inspire future generations. I think it's because of this captivation with the, the films and movies they do. I think it really helps kids get involved in, in science and technology. Despite some current attempts to limit NASA's budget, Swanson says the space uh, agency is not going anywhere. In fact, there are already plans for exploration shuttles to go throughout our solar system, and by the end of the century, there are plans to have a man on Mars. Live in Boise, I'm Jake Melder, Fox 9 on your side. So neat that he has ties to Boise State as well. Really cool. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks. Jake.